Democrats love to smear Donald Trump and J.D. Vance as weird, but they might want to look in the mirror. Michigan Governor Gretchen Whitmer posting an extremely bizarre video online. She's wearing a Harris Walls hat and feeding Doritos to a kneeling left-wing influencer. So cringe. Meanwhile, the Catholic League blasting Governor Whitmer and accusing her of mocking the Eucharist. But her staff claims that she's just doing a popular trend that's being used by countless people like Billie Eilish and Stephen Colbert. Meanwhile, Tim Walls, his wife, Gwen, is also upping the weird factor. During a campaign event in Wisconsin, she attempted to sing a high school fight song, and it was as cringeworthy as you would think. When the Scarlet team comes on the field, we will all stand up and cheer. To the other team, we'll never yield, and we won't forget we're here. Jesse, uh, I consider you an expert in men. And they <laughs> don't feed this, bro. <laughs> <laughs> they need to win men. Do you think Gwen Wall singing will lure in the men? Mrs. Knucklehead, uh, that broke my eardrums, and I already have very sensitive ears. I love her, and then I'm just saying that because I'm on television, but I would not like to be... I'm not going to say that. I'm not going to say that, Jesse. <laughs> good, good. Control yourself, Jesse. This is not about men. She's not about men. I don't know what that was, but that was not an outreach to men. I believe she was reading stories to young children about having two dads, from what I recall when I was perusing the Internet before the show. They're talking about bringing men along, but they, they made Dylan into, like, a, a superstar. They've, they've told us we're toxic. They tried to meet to Greg, who was just... He that. can't help himself, okay? He's just <laughs> sexy. How did I He's not this? responsible for yeah. what happens I with that shirt. They attacked me. If you lay a finger on my Greg, <laughs> okay, don't you dare. I'm very confused about the Dorito. First, I thought yes. it was sexual. Yep. And then I was told that it was a Christian, uh, like, wafer that they were giving her, a communion stunt. Catholic. So then I was... Remember, I'm not Catholic. I know. We, so then, it shows. But we still take communion. Although, I went into a Catholic church one time, and they wouldn't let me take communion. That's how it works. Yeah. Because yeah. you're it Protestant, works. probably. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I am, too. So then I, my, I was emotionally in turmoil because I was... I thought it was sexual, and then I thought of taking communion in church... And then I didn't really know what to do, but then I thought about how sexy Greg was, and I just wanted to snuggle up with him. <laughs> Greg is very sexy. I'm never wearing this shirt again, I feel. <laughs> yeah. Objectified. You know, but Shannon... You love it. Shannon, um, you know, when you watch that, it does look sacrilegious to me. I don't know what their intent was. They also, in this interview, asked Gretchen Whitmer if she wished she had a post-birth abortion of her two daughters. I just don't know who this wins over, and then they started cackling after asking the question. Well, and Michigan is tight. I mean, this is one of those key states that both of the campaigns know that they need to win. So if it's that tight, I don't know that you do this kind of video. Mm -hmm. Because I was reading an article about a pastor there in Michigan who said evangelicals, he's on this whole mission to get them to turn out because he doesn't feel like they showed up well enough in 2020. That video is the kind of thing that's going to make deeply religious people show up. Yes. Um, you know, I'm also evangelical Protestant, but yes, we do communion too. We do it slightly differently, but I think as a religious person, that's a super potentially offensive message that would motivate them maybe than you more than you would expect. Yeah, without a doubt. You know, Greg, you match me today, but I'll still come to you despite uh. both wearing white. Um, this is a weird cast of characters. I mean, Gwen Walls, Tim Walls, Gretchen Whitmer. I don't know who these individuals appeal to. Well, it's, it's an odd uh, consortium. Is that a word? Consortium. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. I don't really mind the little fight song. I mean, no one, you know, that's, that's, eh, I don't care. People are viewing this other thing, the Dorito thing, as satanic, cultish, perverse. It's probably just stupid. I mean, it's just, stu she's not a bright person. Uh, I, I think it was uh, uh, Trump who said it yesterday, the real threat to democracy is stupid people. Mm. We're seeing a country run by stupid people. Gretchen Whitmer is a stupid person. So my concern isn't just, is, is it about this? This is the kind of decision that this knucklehead makes that we see. Can you imagine what we don't see that, that you know, is re regards important things that actually matter? Uh, you know, it's not this two girls, one chip film. It's like, <laughs> it's stuff that could affect your lives. You know, I, I you know, I... I just look at it, I go, like, this is the this is the lady did the video with the talking potato. Do you remember that? Mm -hmm. I think no. it was a potato. 
Might have been Brian Stelter. I get him confused. <laughs> if I got Doritos sent to the show, could I feed you a chip? <laughs> yeah. Get on your knees and open you your are. mouth. Oh, I, do not, I do not want that image in my mind. The shirt has got you crazy. It's got me something. The shirt has got you it crazy. It is. Jessica, Trump is up by three points in Quinnipiac and Michigan. And Quinnipiac always leans left. In fact, if you believe Quinnipiac, then Andrew Gillum's the governor of Florida right now. He is indeed not. Thank goodness. Do you think this is going to change the numbers for Kamala? This video, I think yeah. it's completely irrelevant. It, was, and you it say, was an attempt to court voters. So, so that attempt didn't work, but other things will. And there is polling on the other side of it. Like she was up in the in the journal poll for Michigan, mm -hmm. and I think she's slightly favored overall. But I'm not here to deny that Donald Trump had a better week this week than he did last week, and we'll see what next week looks like. But you say, you know, who does Tim Walls appeal to? Well, a wide swath of Americans, because he has the highest favorability of anyone that's on a ticket right now. Or who does Gretchen Whitmer appeal to? Michiganders. She won by an even bigger margin when she ran for re-election and has united coalitions that you haven't seen in Michigan in decades. These people are popular. I get it. I wouldn't have done that video. I, I think it looks incredibly weird, but I'm going to use it to talk about something of substance, which is Catholic voters. Mm. So Joe Biden and Donald Trump basically split the Catholic vote. There was an expectation Biden would do better because he is a practicing Catholic. He didn't. It, Trump won, I think, 50-49. Kamala's up by seven over Trump with Catholic voters, 50 to 43 in the latest polling. Can you be a um, practicing Catholic if you're pro-abortion? Pro well, he's actually, he's politically pro-choice. He's personally pro-life. And yes, you absolutely can be because I don't think it's you a health care issue. Yeah. I don't what think I you can be a practicing Catholic and be pro-abortion. You, right. you think a lot of things that I don't agree with. But so I'm, I'm actually uh, used through. to be a Catholic and an altar boy, so I trump you young lady. No, yes. I'd like to talk about Trump, though, for a second. <laughs> what you see happening with religious voters, and this is well with evangelicals, though the numbers are not as pronounced in terms of turning against him, but you do see some slippage, is that religious voters see a person who has a bad character. They see someone who is an adulterer. They see someone who demonizes migrants, who demeans women. And that is something that is resonating from the Harris campaign. They are making that case, and they are getting somewhere with that. You see someone, this God Bless America Bible that he has, that he printed 120,000 copies of in China, so the America First guy that's producing his Bible in China, costs $3 to make it. He's hawking them for $59.99 here. Mm. Those are things that people who are actually religious, who care about it, are looking at it and saying, like, is this guy just well, a people, huckster? A, people I, who are evangelical and Catholic should what? read the Bible. It's unmestakably clear the, on I, life. And that just means priests. Well, should it be printed in China if he's the America the First issue. guy? Should he be hawking people, Bibles? You know what it is? One issue, do you have, these, do you have issues, the God Bless America issue, Bible? Whether it's I have the, the Bi Bi Jessica, whether it's Bibles. this... This what? Bible or its infidelity or a person of bad character, those are very easy topics to dis to discuss as long as you don't discuss your stance on abortion. If you are a Catholic, yep. you... Then are, why and you is are, she No, wait, let me finish. I'm not talking about you. I'm just talking because you're not Catholic, and I'm just saying no. that if you are a Catholic and you are upset about Donald Trump's character... And yet you are okay with voting for a person who wants abortion on demand. You're worse. I'm sorry, you're worse. And I'm not making, I, I'm just saying from, the, from when you analyze the beliefs of a Catholic being pro-life, you, you have no stance at all. If you are okay with abortion, you can't, you can't say, oh, Trump has a lousy character. No, you got no character. You have none. Yep. Single issue voters, Christian community, single issue voters. That's the issue of life that Greg just beautifully spoke to. All right. Thank you so much. <laughs> the Taylor. past it was is up next. <laughs> it's very beautiful. <laughs> Click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You won't get it anywhere else.